Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is the 27th of March and I'm in beautiful Vienna. Exactly now on my first uh, bicycling tour. And in the background you can see the Danube River and this is the Dona Insel. And today we will take a tour to the Dona Insel to the one side uh, in direction close to Neuburg. So have fun and enjoy the ride. So you can see now I'm bicycling. This is the first tour um, of my road bike, which is uh, a little bit better for longer distances. And uh, we are heading now towards the Dona Intel. The Dona Intel, for information, has been built a couple of centuries, uh, a couple of 20, 30, 40 years ago. And the total length of the Donner Insel is 20.2 kilometers. Uh, it's the first sight of spring here, and we're looking for some blossoms or some beautiful uh, first flowers. So now we are going more and more on the direction. So Maybe we go to the other side to see what's going on here. This is the part of the Donau Isle which is called Alte Donau. And this is exactly for that case, in case there is a flooding in Vienna. Uh, so this one will protect this part and the other part of Vienna for the flooding which happens uh, very often before the Donau Insel was built. And now we're going to the other side uh, of the Danube River. So you see some skyscrapers in the very back. You see the Donau Turm and uh, you see the UNIDO, the United Nations building, and there are some skyscrapers. So not very much here in Vienna. Uh, but at least we have some. Fortunately, they are not very much on the other side towards the city center because, of my opinion, this uh, distracts a little bit the beautiful architecture uh, here in Vienna with these old historic uh, buildings. It's much different than the ones in other cities because the city was built, uh, rebuilt. Uh, century, a century and a half ago. So now we're going down on the other side. So this is again the Dona Insel and we are on the other part of the city of Vienna. And uh, so we'll have a pretty nice ride in the sunny area. It's spring time again, it's the 27th of March, it's one of the first weekends or the first weekend uh, where there's really beautiful weather and well for me especially I don't like riding in the cold with a bicycle uh, so I'm a cold uh, bicycle rider who likes the warmth. You can see some, some people who train probably for the Ironman, uh, you know, people are staring a little bit what I have in hand, but uh, that's usual, you get used to it. So, uh, here you see graffitis. Graffitis are officially allowed in some places uh, here in Vienna, and this is one of the places. So, once you go here, you can make your graffiti, but uh, it's not guaranteed that in a couple of hours or the next day, somebody else comes and overpaints your graffiti. So, you can do that but you're not actually protected how long your art, how long your street art will be protected. On here, on this side, you see uh, the highway and uh, you can see uh, it makes a little bit of noise, but that's okay. Uh, here's the ravens, so they say hello. So this beautiful day and once we talk cycling more and more so it's cycling now to the 
west north you can see actually it's, it's, it's quite bluish here so beautiful day beautiful spring day here in Vienna actually summertime there are much more people here so you really have to really have to look after when you go with your bicycle uh, that you don't have an accident and um, but now is the first day it's a cage yes so you can see people already preparing probably it's too early for a picnic but they can have a nice time laying in the sun chilling after a long pandemic time in the winter people weren't allowed to go out and uh, now of course they are we call it hungry for the sun and hungry for the warm sun rays the first sunny days here in Vienna so people are really enjoying you they take their dogs for a walk also the dogs enjoying it and you can see very nice and when we go to the left you see some beginning mountains um, which is the Kallenberg the Leobelsberg and the Kobenzl so this is an area where a lot of wealthy people live um, you can also have the Horigen here at that place is if you want to visit Vienna and you have this famous Horigen tour this will be on the bottom of these let's call it mountains the total eight of the mountains I think it's about 400 meters so for walking distance I would say it's probably half an hour to an hour depending on your walking speed with the bicycle it's quite challenging for some and for some it isn't uh, if you're not the ones who train every day so probably will take up half an hour or a little bit longer you can see how blue actually the Danube is so that's his famous song um, and the schönen blauen Donau which is a waltz from the Strauss family from like that Strauss uh, Johann Strauss sorry so it's actually one of the blue Danube day today it's not always blue depending of course on the light situation and some other situations depending on the condition of the river Danube but today it's really nice and blue and you see and see come see people jogging and you see people coming from different areas entering this beautiful area so I said today is one of the first really nice warm spring day and uh, what I'll see here let's go there it's a nice bridge the bridge crosses here the Donner Canal so I'll show you the whole beauty this really nice blue greenish like the Donau and at the end if you see that you see that's the end also of the Donau Insel and if I take it to the other side you see some bikers here here is here is Vienna so actually we are already a couple of kilometers away but you can see the very end the new needle and some skyscrapers so I'll make a pause now and talk a little bit later
Welcome back. I'm here at the Donau Insel, and you see this beautiful area. Uh, the Donau Insel actually is on that side, and on the back, uh, you can see the Alte Donau. So this is part of the Danube. Here, if we go to the other side, uh, so that's the northern part of Vienna. So hope you enjoyed the ride. Until now, so we are heading now uh, to the north southwest. Uh, so I show you around the beautiful spring day uh, in March the 27th. See you later. Hi guys, I'm back again on my bike trip. So this is the Schilfhütte. Actually, this is a very nice place. I can highly recommend. So they serve excellent food. You can also have your coffee here. You can see a lot of uh, bikers. You can get, um, it's really nice, especially when the, the sun goes down. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of that one. Go here if you wanna have a coffee. Go here if you wanna have some small snacks or some Wiener Schnitzel, which I actually would not recommend to eat when you're making exercise or the bicycle. And here, if I show you down, there's the other roads downwards. It's closer to the water. Well, let's see, probably come back on that side so I can show you a little bit that beautiful area. You can see people staring. Uh, so they have never seen a camera. <laughs> but I wanna be desperately into the camera but I get used to it. Uh, most of them are pretty nice. Uh, just staring. I've never experienced somebody getting angry. Uh, so they're just probably curious what's going on. What is this guy doing filming? So these people overall are very nice, friendly and polite people. So it uh, makes one quite fun. So we're heading a little bit downwards, uh, so I can show you what's closer uh, to the Alte Donau. It's a little bit take care, don't have an accident. So guys, in the summer it's really really uh, green. A little bit more green but as I said this is one of the first really sunny and warm day and you can see people already had the tents and probably this are uh, fishing this cool guy with the glasses so I'm not sure whether well, I would eat the fish out of that area but well everybody has their own preferences and tastes so if you look up, the bicycles, and if you look down here, very beautiful area, you see the birds, um, they're also enjoying the first days here, the first summer days, and uh, you can see a lot of people here. Yeah? You have these nice rest places, in the summer they are fully packed, so people making a small rest, maybe take some pictures or do some 10 kilometers. telephone calls. Kilometers per hour. So what you heard here is my I watch I bought that a couple of months ago and today um, actually I have started using the sports functionality sports app so it just actually told me that i have already 10 kilometers and with an average of 11.2 kilometers an hour probably that's not very fast but i really enjoy taking the videos for you so you have some nice inspiration and impression when you come to Vienna 
or even if you are from Vienna, um, if you are looking for some outdoor activities and you haven't thought about bicycling, bicycling here along the Danube and the Donau Canal, the Danube Canal. So I think it's worth it. Uh, you should start. It's always a good time to start when the weather is getting better. So have, you have the full season to start your outdoor activities. You see fishermen looking for fish, hunting for fish. So probably they have been there from the morning onwards. So now they take their fish and eat it for lunch or for dinner. Actually, you can see here, there's a little boat marina. Sailboats are also now active here on the Danube Canal and especially today as we have Sunday sunny beautiful weather let's have a look what's going on oh nice you see the next sailboat taking People are enjoying, you see a couple of boats, small boats, actually, I'm not sure what the boat size here, which is allowed to use, but actually it's enough. It says, Afsa Seefahrt Schule, so you can make here trainings, you can make education, and you see they are renovating reconstruction this small marina well yes during the water you see the old wood um, needs a couple of years it needs some renovation uh, because for safety reason and for of course it has to look nice when you go here uh, to this small marina when you look up you see um, additional Sails bo sailboats and uh, well we are coming towards the end of this little small tiny marina so let's go further I feel like this kind of grass I don't know exactly the name I'm sorry for that but it has a beautiful brown color and uh, it gives a nice contract, gives it a picturesque feeling. So, as far as I can see, here is the end. And we have to go now a little bit back and then forth. Let's see what's going on on that side. I've been there often many times but honestly with a GoPro in the hand it's a little bit more different two different perspectives ah, okay I will choose to go here because I'm closer to the sea ah, to the water so I think it gives a little bit nicer videos to look at so enjoy the views probably you also hear the birds I've done a video two days ago have a look in my playlist and my youtube channel it's called Stadtpark blossom spring and actually didn't realize but there were so many birds and some commenters said hey I love the video and I love the birds in the videos and I 
had again a look and actually yes very nice very a lot of birds and uh, making this beautiful noise and uh, people realize that one and that gives me again uh, some ideas to make additional videos of different subjects so maybe a bird video would be nice go to a place where a lot of birds are and on the other hand it remembered me how focused you are and you want to do something uh, hundred uh, percent and you concentrate and to do your best with the camera moves and uh, the nice views and but you actually sometimes miss out you don't realize that there is other senses like the noise like the birds which if I wouldn't have to take it in the video I would never have realized it so you miss so much sometimes when you are 100% focused on your activity on the things what you're doing sometimes it makes sense to take a step back and concentrate and zoom out like you say and say okay what's going on in this area what have they realized I can tell you a story I sometimes walk with other photographers or young Instagrammers to the city center and at the end when we looked at our photos they are so different they are so different in perspective some really look only on things which are up some only concentrate on geometrics some only on colors some only on people so same place similar equipment but different mind different mindset and people then look at different things capture different things so they say what your soul is expresses in your photos so that's so true in my opinion so we'll make a little pause here and uh, see you later at the end of the Dona Insel. Now I'm back and this is the end of the Dona Insel. So many people take the tour from one area to the other side of the Dona Insel. So this is top, this is the Danube, and uh, this is down towards Vienna. So people are taking a rest. There's also ice cream available. I don't know where it's open today. People are really relaxing in that area. So, you ready for ice cream? I think it just opened. So we will have something for you, which is nice to to eat. And this would be the way back. And again, this is the bridge, and this is the bicycles which are turning around and this is the way back so we'll see you later so we are here at the Dona Insel and actually I found a very nice overview here on the floor and this shows you uh, the bridges and how the Danube uh, 
it's flowing so we are at the beginning and this is the very end of the Dona Insel and on the right side you see the Danube and on the left side you see the new Dona, the Neue Dona, the new Danube and we were going now down 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 you see so I'm walking on the Dona Insel you see at the beginning there is called the North Bridge uh, then the Floridsdorfer Bridge the Brickbickenauer Bridge and then you see the Reichsbrücke this is where we're heading towards uh, the city center and then going to the Praterbrücke and then at the end you have the Kraftwerk Freudenau and uh, so we are at the end of the Donauinsel so actually it's 20 kilometers and now I'm going back the Donauinsel going up towards the north uh, towards the bridges and then now I'm back here so I saw that it's a light, nice little overview to show you how the structure of the Donau and the Donauinsel so again on the right side you see the Donau the Danube on the left side you see the Neue Donau, the new Danube so we were walking up and down now the whole Donau Insel on this nice little graphics on the floor so again it's 20 kilometers so thanks uh, for having this overview with me so guys we are now heading back from the end of the Donau Insel uh, towards uh, the city so on that side we have the mountains the little uh, Kallenberg etc you can uh, ride either in the middle of the Donau Insel or on one uh, the left or the right side so I'm choosing now this area uh, so from here it's the left side that goes a little bit now down and I show you these nice places uh, which is more closer to the new Danube like I learned it's not the Alte Donau the, it's now called in this area the new Danube so for, sorry for that I've been living here for many 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 years actually I was born here uh, but uh, I didn't make this distinction so far but so when you make videos you also learn your city uh, a little bit more uh, in details so this is actually an area which in the summer is quite packed um, but uh, now you see very few people on that side of the Dona Insel and it's calm you hear the birds a little bit uh, the noise of the bicycle but it's really really beautiful here and here also uh, some people enjoying uh, this area with the music so you can see you can do everything bicycle you just can uh, go skateboarding here is a different kind of bicycle which always uh, wanted to try once but I'm not sure whether this must be really that enjoyable as going with a normal bicycle like I have here uh, you can see uh, this area so I'll leave you a little bit alone and uh, talk in a couple of minutes this is a small little bridge from the Neue Donau to the Donau Insel so we are going towards the city center and uh, still on the left side of the Donau Insel you can see a little bit more people enjoying the closer area so especially when you have children small children who like to take them out into nature 
going with the bicycle on that area is not only fun but it's also secure because there are no cars um, who can be a danger for children when they go with a bicycle so actually the whole donor angle is carless so it's forbidden for them to go into this area so again a perfect place if you go with your family with your children for bicycle or just a nice and beautiful walk so talk in a minute so I'm back uh, we are now at the Floridsdorfer Brücke, the Floridsdorfer Bridge um, and actually the two bridges, one is uh, for the cars you can see again here the street art left and right I'll show you a little bit of the back and um, if you go a couple of meters this is a bridge where we are where starting to enter the Dona Insel. This is only for pedestrians and bicycles. No cars allowed. So see people enjoying here the beautiful weather. So talk in a minute. Yeah. 